Hello, so today's video is going to be a bit different. Uh, I didn't have a shoot this past week, so I'm just going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, I'm going to be showing you what I recently got in the mail and also talk about a shoot I did about three weeks ago. So this is what I recently got in the mail. I ordered 20 rolls of Fuji C200 with 24 exposures and 3 Kodak Color Plus, 236 exposures and 124 and also 2 black and white films. So a roll ATS and Kentmir 100. So the last time I ordered film was about 5 or 6 months ago. So with the last video that was actually the last roll that I had from that order and had to stock up again. So I recently ordered this on Monday and got it the following day. I normally order my film in bulk as it comes out cheaper. Uh, it's a way for me to save a bit of money as most of you would know shooting film is a bit expensive. The total amount I paid for this is 50 pounds and 75 pence. So for the Fuji C200 it's a pound 50 each and Kodak Color Plus is about 250 and with the Rolay and the Kent Mirror it's around four pounds. Normally uh, the Fuji C200 costs you about three to five pounds uh, depending on, on where you get it. Then the Kota Color Plus is roughly the same price. So orders of a website called First Call Photographic. It's probably the cheapest place that you could buy a film from. So this Fuji C200 that I bought is actually expired. That's why it's cheap. As I said, it's a pound 50. Normally it costs about three to five pounds. Easy with film, even though it's past their expiration date, uh, it's still usable and you would still get uh, shots with it but sometimes it just gives you a different look or feel but uh, recently expired in July so I know I'm still gonna get the same results as a non-expired film so this is a Canon EOS 1000F I actually used this in the first video so if you haven't seen it uh, go check it out so basically when I tested this out again uh, it gave me good results but it still had problems, so so I'm gonna be ditching this film camera body and I actually ordered a new one, which is uh, this one. So this is my new setup. So it's a Canon EOS 5000 uh, with the Sigma 35 art lens. I got the body off of eBay for about six pounds, uh, so it was pretty cheap. In a way, it's a bit better than this, as the max shutter speed for this is 2000, where in this one is only a thousand. This is still working, as you can see, but I haven't actually tested this out, but you might see this uh, probably in the next video. So three weeks ago, I did a fashion shoot in Alexandra Estate, and I used this film camera body, so the Canon EOS 1000F, and it gave me pretty good results, but in a way, this camera is still a bit unreliable. So I decided to just replace it and get a new one, but I'm still happy with the photos that I managed to get. So here's the photos. Thank you. 